All right, it's demo time at Matrix Towers. Um, we've got two demos today. Uh, Germain is going to uh, talk us all through threading. And Dave, I believe on his Matrix demos, Matrix Live demos uh, debut. Dave, is that true? Yep, that's right. That's right, brilliant. Germain, I think you've, I think you've been here before. Yes, once, but it was internal, yeah. Internal, all right. Okay, so two, two debuts. Um, so yeah, we're going to hear about threading from Joanne, and uh, Dave's going to talk us all through uh, the Swift UI uh, um, feature template work that he's been uh, uh, beavering away. So, uh, Joanne, you have the floor. Hey everyone. Um, so, with more than 110 participants and more than 250 messages on the GitHub issue, um, there's been a lot of people that were talking about threads. Um, so I have recently started to work on this, and I wanted to kind of like demo what's an element today and just share with you what um, the future holds for that new feature. So I've just created a room, and I'm just going to send a message. Um, and this message should arrive in a second in this room. And you'll see that there is this little icon on the right-hand side that will essentially let me reply to it. Can I, hey, how are you? And of course, this is not going to show up. Right, let me refresh the page. <laughs> <laughs> la 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 la. But this is the magic of edits after, so that should be great. All right. We never edit this. <laughs> okay, how are you? There we go, and it works. Um, and you now have a sidebar with um, threads. It really helps in high traffic rooms if you want to have conversations in parallel. Um, and if you go back to the other client, you'll see that it's actually displayed in different ways. Some clients will have threads, some other clients will not have threads. And we've built that of the replies so that you can essentially have backwards compatibility and so that everyone can essentially interacts with a thread, whether they are um, in a threads enabled client or not. So I can answer here. Shall we go to the pub? And if I go back in the other client, you'll see that it's coming up here as well. So it's still a bit rough around the edges, um, and the design are uh, nothing like it's going to be at the end. Uh, but I can show you some of the work that um, Hanno and the design team has been doing. And there's some really exciting things. So you can have like a little sneak peek of what it's going to look like on mobile, where you have essentially a message with like a little um, thread information. And when you click on it, it opens this kind of like panel where you can answer. This might change again in the future, but you get the gist. And it's pretty much um, similar to what you've seen on the web, where you have this sidebar on the right hand side that will display a lot of messages. Um, and that's the beginning of threads. Um, so you can try it out today on develop, and there's a lapse flag that you can uh, turn on and off again if you want to, to try it out. So that's threads. Awesome. Ooh. Super cool. And, and so this is the implementation we're looking at here. Is this running entirely client side or is the server support as well? This is entirely client side. Um, so there's a few things that um, we're missing for this feature to be like really polished. Um, and we're going to start like working on some of the backend implementation very soon. Um, and that should really uh, make the whole thing a bit like snackier and then just ensure that everything is working as smoothly as possible. Great. So all right, cool. Thank you. Thank you, Joanne. Um, all right, Dave, uh, you have the floor. Thanks a lot. Let me just share my screen. Okay, a little bit slow. <laughs> Just you will remarkably take 20 seconds to show the screen for no good reason. No, it doesn't seem to be working. Um... Uh, 
and I could try drop and join via the web, maybe. Uh, for sure. Yeah, that was the last we ever saw a day. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay. Um, yes. Uh, hello, folks. Uh, I'm David. I'm an uh, iOS engineer uh, on the yes team. Uh, I, yeah, so I've been working on um, a feature template. What is a feature template? Uh, it's a tool for anybody interested in working on our iOS app. Uh, it's basically just a shell script. I can go over here and, and show you quickly. Um, yeah, I Zoom, how Zoom works with Jitsi, but uh, yeah, it's a shell script. Uh, you run it um, within the code base. Uh, you give it some sample names, so what you want to call the feature overall. And um, in this example, there's a number of different screens in, in for the feature, and you can define what you want for um, each of those screens. Um, so basically, it will generate a feature within our app. Uh, and pack that feature with our kind of latest and greatest um, tooling and best practices uh, and should be something that kind of runs out of the box. Um, so yeah, I hadn't actually seen this kind of approach before joining Matrix, but the team actually already had an existing one. Uh, and what I've been working on is a Swift UI version of that. So Swift UI being App Apple's new um, declarative, reactive, state-driven framework for building UI, uh, similar to the likes of React, but for native iOS uh, applications. Um, and uh, yeah, so this is kind of taking all the feedback from what our last template was, uh, bringing it together with some of the latest technologies and um, uh, yeah, trying to come up with a tool that helps people uh, easily get uh, set up um, and uh, working with the code base. Uh, so just kind of, I ran that uh, a moment ago and this is basically what it gives you within the app. Uh, I have this uh, wrap up chat feature that we've now generated. Uh, it's a, it's a, a running feature. And um, this example, uh, that we have a couple of these scripts that you can run. This one um, generates a feature that has two screens. Uh, one is a chat room, and one is chat list. So the chat list being the first one you see, and you can tap into a room and uh, chat within a room. Um, and yeah, it gives you all the, the kind of latest and greatest uh, based on our current architecture and best practices. So you can see here, our architecture is MVVM, uh, and we use the coordinator pattern. So it gives you coordinators out of the box that you can use to hook your feature into whatever part of the app that you want to use it on. And um, there's the models that represent the objects within your feature. And um, there's services, which are kind of um, um, points of dependence on external or framework dependencies. Um, so it's it's really the only point at the moment that we have. We've kind of designed the features to be kind of run independently and loosely coupled with the REST application. So the service is really the only point that kind of integrates with the framework code. So we have these abstract um, protocols that we define. Um, and, uh, so we have here a, a wrap-up chat room service protocol that gives us uh, the ability to chat in a room. Uh, so the protocol is abstract and defined, and then we can have concrete uh, implementations of those. So we have a matrix SDK um, implementation of that service, which will give us you know, uh, our app integrated with the matrix SDK. Uh, and then we also have a mock one, and the mock ones can be useful for a number of reasons. Um, for writing tests is one. So the next folder you'll see then is a test. So we have UI tests and unit tests built into the feature out of the box. Um, so you can easily get set up and see examples of you know how to write uh, UI tests um, based on based on your mocks. Um, and the other nice thing about um, uh, mocking uh, uh, or using these abstract interfaces and mocking your data like this is when it comes to previews. Um, so this is. Um, let's see. Uh, this is one of the nice aspects of Apple's new um, Swift UI. You have kind of live um, preview rendering uh, of the code. So you have your code on the left and you have your um, preview on the right and you can live change the code that you have on the left and it'll update uh, for you. So 
Another thing that we introduced within this template is something called screen states, where you can define mock um, samples of different states of your screen. Um, and that makes it useful when you're writing the code to see, you know, as you change that code, how it affects the different um, kind of modes or states that you have within your screen. So we have a chat example here, and you can see this first um, initializing room state, um, uh, fail to initialize where we display an error message. Um, there are no messages in this room. And then um, uh, there's an example of when you do have messages in a room. Uh, and these are kind of live, so you can actually run them as if it was an app. Um, they won't use, these are using our mock services, a bit, so they won't actually be connecting over the internet. Uh, so they run nice and quickly, but uh, you can see here I've sent a message into, into that imaginary room. Um, yeah, and we also use these screen states when we're doing things like UI tests. We can um, uh, pump these uh, states into a kind of fake app and then run UI tests around uh, against each of these states to say, you know, for this particular state, um, are these different elements on the screen? So that's another thing kind of built in. And uh, yeah, so you, you, can, you can also just run the feature itself. Um, so this is actually, I'll just back out here, um, kind of as Manu said, I guess. <laughs> Uh, a chat app within a chat app. Um, this example uh, feature, uh, you know, lets you go through a list of rooms, go into uh, a room, and then type a message. So this is actually matrix, uh, an X matrix room. Uh, I can just send a test message uh, in there. Yeah. So that's uh, pr pretty much it uh, for anybody interested in, um, you know, dipping their toe in the code base. It's a good way of kind of getting set up and, and using some of our latest tooling. And that's it for me. That's code base collect for the bro. Ten years. Super exciting. And Dave, this is like anyone that wants to be running a new Swift UI backed feature can access this today. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yep. So we've already uh, built uh, we've already built a few features with it that are live in the application and notification settings. And it's probably gonna be some new ones coming, but yeah, it's in, in production and you can you can um, you can uh, start using the template now. Super cool. Oh. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> All right, folks, that's, uh, that's quite enough for, uh, for Matrix Live. Um, see you next time.